This is a short video to showcase the drop tube assembly for the GeoSub pump. Uh, just briefly, the overview for this pump. So it's a stainless steel uh, impeller pump. Uh, the pump can lift water from as uh, deep as about 45 meters below ground level. Uh, it's on a 45 meter uh, cable reel typically. Um, the pump can be stripped down and decontaminated easily. So I'll show you that quickly. There, there are some various components uh, the body of the pump uh, can unscrew uh, and uh, so the intake is here. The, the newer intakes, this is a, a rental pump that I have here, the newer intakes on the bodies uh, are much more similar to this drop tube assembly here. We'll have a look at that in a minute. Um, here is the impeller, so this is a little uh, impeller here on the bottom of a motor. We can take that apart as well so I can take the top off. Um, all of these components inside are designed to get wet uh, and they're designed to be taken to pieces and uh, for easy decontamination but also for, uh, uh, for uh, easy maintenance as well. All of these parts are uh, replaceable um, uh, and available. We carry a stock of all these parts uh, being uh, uh, an impeller pump, something that moves around if you have a, a sediment load. Um, uh, passing through here, it does uh, wear these parts out ultimately. Um, generally this pump is relatively um, uh, uh, tolerant to suspediment loads, certainly certainly a lot more so than uh, the MP1 pump for example, um, uh, but uh, uh, things can wear out and you can replace them when you need to. So those are the components just uh, for your interest. Normally I keep these, uh, these pumps stripped down like this uh, to avoid any parts seizing up or uh, sediment stopping the, um, uh, the pump from being taken apart at a later date. Um, so uh, that is how that works. So like I said, the limitation as far as uh, lifting water is concerned is 45 metres. So, um, and I think, I, I don't know whether I've already mentioned, but the uh, maximum flow rate is uh, about 16 litres per minute uh, at one metre. So that's the, the, uh, the basic um, performance of the pump. Um, so uh, what we have is, uh, if I just draw myself a little well here um, with some water and this is the surface and so this is our limitation here is uh, 45 meters from the uh, surface where your uh, pump motor, uh, pump uh, controller is down to um, where the pump itself is. Um, so it's that lift that we're talking about. However, with this drop tube assembly, what we can actually do is we can sample from a deeper horizon. So although we can't lift any higher, we may be able to use this to drop a tube down, further down, uh, and take a sample from a totally different horizon, which could be down at 100 or 150 meters, or essentially as long as your tubing can be. Um, so that involves the same pump. Uh, we use a slightly different part, so we uh, take this body away and we replace it with uh, this body here. Uh, and uh, so I'll very quickly put that back together for you. Um, so this all goes together like this. And I'll just connect that. There we are. So this is all uh, the same part of the uh, original pump now, and now we're going to put the different body on with the uh, drop tube uh, here. So it goes like that. And then we can use whatever length of tubing we like. Um, so this is a 12 millimeter internal diameter. Um, uh, obviously you'd want to squeeze it on a bit further than that and probably put a hose clamp uh, on here because uh, you don't particularly want to lose uh, the remainder of the tubing or the drop tube uh, screen down the hole. And the same at this end here. So this is, uh, all, all this is, is just a screen to stop uh, uh, excessive sediment from uh, coming up through here and, and, and potentially blocking or wearing out the pump. Uh, so that is, that is that and that's what this allows you to do. So it makes this pump a little bit more versatile. Um, uh, and uh, so then you only have a 45 meter reel to, to contend with and uh, potentially with uh, a number of 
uh, installations like this, you can actually um, dedicate uh, a uh, drop tube intake and tubing to a single uh, well, and then when you need to, you can uh, bring the actual pump itself connected at the top of the monitoring well um, and lower it back down again into the water and start pumping. So uh, that, that can make uh, life a little more convenient.